Hey everyone, today is a short video on the issue with the lift gate weather seal. There is a weather seal that is between the lift gate roof and the glass roof that extends from the middle of the F in Fisker to the middle of the R in Fisker. It's supposed to deflect water from getting into the lift gate when it's open. However, there is one problem. In the winter, there have been reported cases where the actual weather seal gets coated with ice and becomes non-flexible. And when the lift gate closes, that ice, basically an ice dam, can crack the actual glass roof that's above the lift gate area. So if you live in an area that gets cold winters with ice, I suggest removing this weather strip from the lift gate area. Personally, my state doesn't get cold enough to get ice buildup on cars. So I'm gonna do it anyway, just to show you how it's done. Open the lift gate. Here I have zoomed in. This is the lift gate where it meets the opening of the cargo area and the roof is behind here. There are a couple of conduits for the lights, but you can see the weather strip. It starts right here and ends right here. It is simply attached, I think with glue so what I'm gonna do is just pull on this end right here and it should come out of the opening. Yeah, there's a little plastic piece that the weather seal goes behind. So it's as easy as grabbing a corner and just pulling down on it and keep on pulling and it will keep on kind of move it around the wiring and if you want to start the other side that is probably not a bad idea Just give a good pull on it. You'll see there's a little bit of glue holding it in. It's a little tight in this area to get your fingers in because of the angle of this. But just take your time. Not a contest for speed. All right. So here we go. This is what it looks like. You can see some adhesive still on there. And technically, this could get reinstalled if you wanted to. It just goes in between this plastic piece and the panel behind it. So that's all there is. So you can either toss this or save it for <laughs> if you ever want to reinstall it. But now, when this is open or closed, there will not be a problem with this weather still. One thing I did notice is that there may be some remnants of the adhesive that is still on this area. It's not really a big deal. You could take a plastic fork or a plastic knife and just pull that remaining piece off and then it'll look a bit nicer. You can either do it from the outside or open up the lift gate and do it from the inside. As you can see, I'm pointing out the little remnants of the glue right here. You can either pull that off like so use a piece of plastic or whatever or just your hands it should come right off
And here we see the finished result. It's all cleaned up now. At this point, with the weather seal removed, you're not gonna have a problem of this icing up and becoming hard and becoming a, a weapon that uh, could damage the solar roof. So I recommend taking these off if you live in cold weather climates, anywhere that you get ice buildup on a car or snow. So mine is off now. I don't think there's really that much of a big deal by removing this. There may be some water that gets into this area, but this area is designed to have drainage off to the sides and down because there's this separate weather seal here that protects the interior of the car. So I don't see a negative with removing this. So that's a short tip for today. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.